She was a champion for civil rights. She made history as the first black woman in Congress, the first black woman to run for president as a Democrat. Shirley Chisholm was a trailblazer in so many ways. Now, a new first-of-its-kind exhibit in the Brooklyn community that she once represented pays tribute to her life. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson takes us there. I am the candidate of the people of America. The world had never witnessed anything like it. A black woman announcing her run for president of the United States on a major party ticket. Shirley Chisholm did just that inside a Baptist church in Brooklyn, January 25th, 1972. Her most prized political slogan, quote, unbought and unbossed. What gravitates people to Chisholm more than anything else is her integrity and her ability, as she would say, to tell it like it really is. Dr. Zinka Fraser is co-creator of a new first-of-its-kind tribute to the late Shirley Chisholm here at the Museum of the City of New York. Titled Changing the Face of Democracy, the exhibition uses her early years in Brooklyn and Barbados as a jumping-off point to what would be a long, history-making political career. She seems so exceptional, so intelligent, such a great speaker, so charismatic, but that she also is like very accessible. Born November 30th, 1924 in Brooklyn, she went to high school in Bed-Stuy and graduated from Brooklyn College. In 1968, Chisholm became the first black woman elected to Congress. And four years later, <laughs> that run for the White House. While she didn't win the nomination, she set in motion a ball that is still moving today. She's one of the first members who talks about abortion rights. She's saying we need to think about government as a way to help marginalized people who really are unheard and unseen. Chisholm vowed to be controversial till the day she died. In 2005, she passed away. She was 80 years old.